Try All right, it. here we go. <laughs> Reed City, Maltese Melody. <laughs> Once more. <laughs> here did. we go. Reed City playing Maltese Melody. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me again, here at the Spa Convention 2012 in Dallas, Texas. You know, I grew up uh, playing this little 10-hole harmonica like I bet many of you have seen. I had a key of C and I carried that harmonica everywhere I went. And it wasn't until I was about 43 years old, two years ago, I stumbled into my first harmonica convention in Akron, Ohio. It was the Buckeye Festival put on by Danny G and I was introduced to a whole new world of harmonica playing and it was there that I met Al and Judy Smith, the Hot Shots. Al, Al Smith and Judy Smith, say hello. <laughs> hello. <How are> you? <laughs> and it was uh, Al and Judy invited me to their house and gave me this monster of a harmonica, this 16 hole chromatic harmonica and we started re reading uh, arrangements of old standards including this first one, Maltese Melody. So, uh, hey Al, what is that monster of a harmonica that you're carrying? This is a chord harmonica. It, um, it does not play the melody. It plays only chords. It has major chords on the top, minor chords on the bottom, and if you draw in on the top, you have seventh chords. On the bottom, if you draw in, you have diminished and augmented chords. So, 48 chords in all. It plays rhythm and chords. You make the rhythms with your mouth, um, uh, using your tongue and throat. Like that. Nice. That's, That's cool. the function. And you got to be careful when you're standing next to Al. Yes, it's always a concern to... because this <laughs> harmonica is long enough to do some serious damage. And Judy over here is playing a really cool, like a four-pound uh, bass yeah. harmonica. It's heavy. This is a bass harmonica. It has large holes there. It's a one harmonica in which you only have to breathe out. You breathe into the instrument. It plays bass notes. goes way down to contra E. <laughs> And this works along with the chord harmonica to act like the bass guitar and the rhythm guitar. Yeah. yeah. So Judy's over here, boom, boom, boy. He's over here strumming the rhythm guitar. Right. This yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's it's Al and Judy are part of a duo called the Hot Shots, and uh, the three of us are three quarters of a of a quartet called Reed City, and we're missing our wonderful bass player Dave. Uh, normally, Judy plays chromatic and does some beautiful harmonies. But Could you describe what you can do with that chromatic? Well, you know, I, I've talked a little bit about chromatic on this blog, but basically there's a C harmonica all the way across, and all the black notes on the piano, all the sharps and the flats, happen when I push this button. So it's a wonderful harmonica. This is 16 holes of joy. It's uh, four octaves, and we're gonna we're gonna play a song now as a trio. This is uh, a song by Tommy Riley called Valsentina. Very satisfying minor key, and it's one of my favorites.
It's a pretty uh, waltz. Uh, yes, a little waltz. Mm -hmm. You can play all kinds of music on harmonicas. For those of you that don't know, a waltz is in 3 4 time. One, two, three, bum, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, one. So here we go. Waltz and Tino, a waltz by Tommy Riley. <laughs> oh boy, yes. Live music. That's the real thing there. That's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> Valsantino by Tommy Riley. You know, what a treat it is to sit by these two uh, harmonica players, each of them at one time honored by spa, the spa organization as the, what is it called? The Harmonica Player of the Year. The Harmonica Player of the Year. Mm -hmm. So Al has played with so many, Al and Judy have both played with so many harmonica groups and they just have so much history in this in this world of uh, group harmonica playing. It's a, it's a real treat and an honor to play with both of you. I must say it's a real treat to find somebody like Hal Walker who comes along and, and so thoroughly enjoys harmonica. Yeah, it's true. Well, uh, let's do our final tune. Uh, this is going to be a singing number. It's called Solitude. Hey, Al, who was the original that sang this, or what was, uh, what's the story behind this, this song? This tune was, uh, it was recorded, well, the, the version that I'm so familiar with was uh, recorded by Cappy LaFell, or Leon LaFell, who uh, played the polyphonia harmonica with uh, the Capybara outfit back in the 1930s, and that was when he recorded this. Uh, he did a beautiful job on it, and uh, he uh, recently uh, gave us the arrangement, and, and about recently, I'd say 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so we have it still. That's great. So here we go. We're going to play, uh, once I find the music, we're going to play Solitude. You are
In my solitude You haunt me With reveries Of days gone by Baby, bye In my solitude You taunt me With memories That never die Never die, never die I sit in my chair I'm filled with despair There's no one could be so sad With gloom everywhere I sit and I stare I know that I'll soon go mad In my solitude I I'm praying, dear Lord above, send back my Very nice. Reed City <laughs> playing In My Solitude. Hey, thanks everyone for watching. Judy, do you have any words of wisdom for all the harmonica players out there? Relax and enjoy playing because it's a lot of fun. You get a lot of hours of wonderful enjoyment and wonderful music out of these instruments. And it's really great if you can find a group to play with, a chromatic player, a chord player, and a bass player. Yeah. It's special. You know, I've spent so many years playing just the diatonic, I assumed that I would never play a chromatic harmonica. It just was out of my realm. Until I discovered this kind of music and I got myself this chromatic, I'd suggest any of you diatonic players out there, consider learning to read music and consider getting a chromatic harmonica because it it's brought so much joy into my life. Al, how about you? Any final words? Not yet. Okay. So, <laughs> I do have a few words, though, not the final. I think that playing music is fun. It's always been fun, and it should always be fun. And the beauty of music is that no matter how bad you play or how well, you always love it, and you always think you are the greatest. Nice. So have fun when you do it. Okay. So what's our final chord? How about that last, uh... That last chord, okay. Good one. <laughs> Good one. Thanks, everybody. Okay. That was well, great. I like that. Right. Our, 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 we can, I can mix it up.